What's up, Aries? My name is Lisa. This is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign for the month of April, or whenever you watch this. Also, it's general, so if it doesn't resonate, check your other signs. And I'm going to tell the story like it's for you, but it could be somebody that you're, what, Treasure Island, that you're connecting to instead. What else fell? Ooh, the fates. I'm hearing the words divine timing. Or these here and now and peace. This peace card blew out before while I was shuffling before I turned to look in deep knowing. I feel like it's, um, yeah, I'm hearing the songs Anticipation by Carly Simon. Um, it's like I, you, you're probably sensing that something's coming in. That's the energy I'm getting is that you're feeling something. Yeah, look, a change in the wind. It's like, see, she feels it. She's standing there looking for it, but possibly you can't see it. You don't know what it is for you. Is yet. Look, this is not for you. I feel like that's all you know. All you know is what's not for you. Yeah, say so deep knowing again and go the distance. It, it honestly feels like, yeah, I'm hearing trust your path, Aries. It, it's like you're putting one foot in front of the other. You're being brave in, yeah, I hear facing adverse adversity. Some of you are facing adversity. Anyway, it says go the distance. All right, one more card here. And why? I just heard seek the truth. Yeah, doing research. And then this is time for a nap. I feel like this is the calm before the storm, but I don't feel like the storm is anything bad. I feel like the storm is everything you've been waiting for. Or at least something that you've been waiting for. Let's see. Look, this is the change in the wind. There's like some sort of coming together here. It's a union. A union of self. This is also you trusting your intuitions. But see, whenever I see... This is the high priestess in regular tarot, but whenever I see it in this deck, it's always like you're, to me, it looks like she's watching you, right? It's like your guides watching you, knowing that you know exactly what to do. They're, look, she just looks proud, you know? She knows you're going to make the right choice or make the right move because you know, you have this deep knowing. Yeah, see, third eye chakra. Um, this may even be opening here. See, yeah, learning to walk away from situations that don't serve. I just heard detaching from, um, this is about justice, okay? See, and your wheel is turning here. It's like uh, some of you have detached from a situation to see the piece. It's like you're, you're letting it go. It's like um, it may not have been easy. What, something may have happened in the wintertime or some, for some of you, it's still winter. Um, but something happened in the, but see, it's like you're moving away from that. You're breaking free from, I feel like you may have been stuck for a while, Aries. I'm hearing don't ask why. Just go with the flow. Yeah, there's a new beginning coming in here, but it's like after a period of a lot of conflict and confusion. This is also about balance, okay? Because um, that's the justice card. So it's like... Yeah, I feel like you're coming to terms. This is coming after a period of, yeah, it says take a nap. Right, see, and time to go. Here's a fox. Um, and the fox is sleeping here. 
And foxes, I always see this fox as like he's sleeping because he's already come up with a plan. So this could be somebody coming towards you. Because I do feel like some, this could even be, um, some of you may have gotten a divorce or somebody wants to make things right in a connection. Let's see, let's get some clarifiers here. Clarify this change in the wind. What is this change in the wind? Ooh. That's uh, stability. That's that's your future. That's legendary is what I'm hearing. And this, it's it's like it's coming up. Some, for some of you, this is like a big, it says a change in the wind. Something's, for some of you, something really big is coming in. Some form of stability. You may even be meeting someone. I was just really, they just drew me to this, this person, like this person. And you may, some of you may be, um, see, it's, there's a child here. It's like somebody's coming to your door. I don't know. Some of you might get a surprise visit. a Gemini but this is also you know remember I, I got that word um, divinely guided and this is definitely two people being divinely guided back together here okay the thing that I'm always like drawn to about the lovers card is that he's the male figure here is always watching the the, the feminine figure and the feminine figure is following the divine okay so it's almost like your person is learning from you, okay? And you've just been connecting with the divine. Like someone's watching you grow. You may even know who this is. Like you probably have, the, I mean, it's coming with the deep knowing card. So yeah, see, somebody wants to offer you something. I feel like somebody's learning from you and they want to offer you some sort of um, stability. I feel like it's, it's, it's almost going to happen out of nowhere. I, I just feel like you're not expecting it, but you have like a deep sense that it's coming. That makes sense. Yeah. Shit. Holy shit. This is the, like the marriage card, the, the card for stability. This is the 1111 twin flame card. This is a card of celebration. I feel like you've been waiting for this for a while here. Yeah, look, divine timing. There's the Sagittarius card. Some of you may be dealing with the Sagittarius, but this is the Sagittarius card is, is about healing. Maybe it took you a long time to heal. I definitely feel like somebody's watching you. I even feel like somebody's learning from you. But the wheel is turning in your life. Like whatever's, if you've been struggling with money, like forget it. Like that's about to change. Okay. And yeah, see, I feel like this is what you're letting go of. Okay. This is like, this represents all of this right here. This detaching, you're detaching from the past from carrying these burdens of the past, the conflict, the sadness. Maybe the last five years have been very hard for you, um, Aries. I almost said Sagittarius. So some of you may really be dealing with a Sagittarius, but it doesn't have to be. You know what I feel about signs. I feel like they have more to do with um, what's happening astrologically, but, you know, it could be. This also represents Libra. But I feel like this is what you're moving away from, you know, because I felt like this was like somebody being stuck for a while. And it's like it, the dove signifies peace. Yeah, see, it took a lot of courage and strength. It's like you've been 
taming. Um, I just feel I just heard the word gentleness. All right, let's let's see. Give me some advice here for Aries. All right, we got communication is key. Yeah, somebody's somebody's coming to talk to you. Look, expect powerful change. Adjustments are required. Okay, this is what this change in the wind is. I, I feel like this is kind of going to take you by surprise, Aries. I don't feel like you're expecting this or to hear from this person at all. I feel like it's going to be a big um, shock. Don't let your past hold you back. And I feel like that's finally what you're breaking free of over here. I feel like this is definitely what you're breaking free of is the past. This is the past. This is why um, you've had to... I don't know. I just, it just feels like, I mean, look at her face. Maybe you've just been in mourning or, um, but you're letting it all go. I mean, this is a 10 and then these two fives make a 10 as well. So I feel like you're completing a lot of cycles and then we have a 10 of pentacles, but this is for the positive. This is the change. Okay. I, I feel like there's a change in your family, family situation. Could be meeting someone new. I definitely feel like some of you are, are going to be receiving some sort of offer here soon here. And it says bring love into the situation. This is a healing. Show the world the real you and step out of your comfort zone. And I feel like that's what you're doing here with releasing this, because I feel like you, some of you may have been stuck for a while carrying this load of heartache and sorrow, and just conflict. Yeah, I'm hearing that song. I think it's about forgiveness. Even if, yeah, see, new love. Something, someone is coming in. I feel like you're going to be blown away too when they offer you this because I definitely feel there's an offer coming in here. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So you may have already met this person recently, like within like the last three months or so, or you could have met them in the winter. 11, they drew me to 11, so maybe November, in November. Let's see, look, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. See, I told you, Aries, somebody is coming in. And look, it's happening because you're releasing your ex. You're releasing your past. That's what's happening here. You're detaching from what's ever happened. You could have ended something in November or like in the winter time and also met somebody during that time. And now this person is, is ready to step forward. I feel like they've been watching you. Okay. I mean, just look at that card. They've been watching you heal. <sighs> make the effort. I feel like this person's going to make the effort. All right, we got two. Look, you deserve love. And I feel like that's what you're, look, and make the effort again. Great love is worth taking the risk for. Look, honeymoon. This person, I feel like this person is either traveling to see you or wants to spend time with you, go on a date or something. This is my card for when it comes out. This is like between now and two months, you were going to have face-to-face -face contact with this person. Yeah, this person has something to say. Anytime they screw with my throat chakra while I'm doing a reading. That's, that's what it means. Like somebody has something to say. And this connection is going to bring in a, it's like somebody that you could marry this person or like live with them. This is like a long term. 10 of pentacles is long term. And then with the, the, the four of wands. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Religious factors look worth waiting for trust, but I feel like you already have a deep knowing that something good is coming in. And it's because you finally released your ex, you're releasing your past. All right. This is exciting. Aries, <laughs> the wheel is turning. The dog days are over. Oh my gosh. And you know what? This morning I, um, 
the first song when I hit shuffle on my phone was Dog Days Are Over by Florence and the Machine. That is wild. Awesome, Aries. Enjoy your, enjoy your April, and I will see you next month. If you're interested in a personal reading, all my information is in the description box. 